All right, think about this one. Can you marry successfully outside your class? An article in the Washington Post walks through a litany of challenges couples face when the spouses have opposite financial backgrounds. So how can couples cross the class divide and plan for a successful retirement and a successful middle age, too? We're asking David Bach, vice chairman of Edelman Financial Services and author of the book, Smart Couples Finish Rich. I don't know of another thing in the world that couples argue more about than money. And if you have totally different backgrounds, totally different relationships yep. with money growing up, I don't know how you overcome that. It's a huge problem. And this article talks about the social class issue. And this idea that if you come from different social classes and you believe in money differently, you're going to fight and therefore potentially get divorced. It goes beyond social class. It really comes down to how were you raised financially. Because we tend to do what we saw our parents do. Right. So if your parents were savers, if you watched your parents sit around a coffee table and plan and talk about retirement, chances are you'll want to do the same thing. If your parents were spending money all the time and then constantly fighting about the bills, often we recreate what our families did. And the key here is that if you marry your financial opposite and you don't fix it, right. You end up divorced. But you can't fix it. Can you fix it? How do you come to Common oh, Grand? Jerry. How do you get together? How do you see the world the same okay. way? Here's what you do. And, and here's what we've seen couples do who are successful. And you're going you're gonna to look at me and go, come on, Dave. No, really. This is what they do. They actually sit down and start talking about money. They start, and they go beyond fighting about the bills. So hard. And they start talking about their fears. So you take a couple who's fighting over money and you say, you know what? Here's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that you're yeah. going to spend us into bankruptcy. Well, I'm afraid that you're never going to let us have any fun. And they learn to compromise. And how they often do it best is they hire a financial advisor. And, and somebody they, gets in the middle somebody, and negotiates that conversation and can hear both sides. And, and, and often what that advisor does, you know, a lot of times savers want this, the advisor to tell the spender, well, stop spending. you got to tell her. Sometimes, you got to tell her to some, stop spending. Here's the thing. Sometimes that saver actually needs to learn that they can afford to spend the money. And when the financial advisor walks through the numbers and says, you know what, Jerry, you're fine. You can spend $50,000 a year on vacation because you've done a good job of saving. That gives that person who's fearful a little confidence that, hey, we're going to be okay financially. Somebody else Let's says go it's have all right. Fun. I got to tell you, though, I mean, stepping back about five paces, if you are the kind of person who's been deprived all your life yep. and you suddenly have the wherewithal to live a different kind of lifestyle, you may step up to that lifestyle just simply because it's unknown to you and it's exciting. Right. Maybe it's not because your parents were spending every penny they had. Maybe they didn't have a penny. But suddenly it's open to you. It's possible. And that can be the story behind the person who comes to that marriage without a penny to their name and marries the wealthy person. Well, you're exactly right. Like in the case of this story, what we're talking about, the gentleman who was very wealthy who wanted to clip coupons, you know, he may have grown up with parents who clipped coupons and she might have been attracted to him because he's rich, figuring he's going to go spend all his money on her. But of course, she wants a taste of that now. So, again, the key here is coming together. He's got to give a little bit and she's got to learn a little bit. Well, I, you know, I, it's so funny because I think what happens to couples is they get caught in the same argument all the time. Left to their own devices, you have the same conversation. That's exactly right. And it's, again, I go back to focus on your fear, face what you're afraid of, and then tackle that. And when you look again at what couples do that is different, when you look at the happily married couples, because we work with our, our Edelman Financial Services, we have 26,000 households we work with, and couples who have been married 20, 30, 40 years. And when we ask them, what have you done right? They have worked together as a team, often very young. They start in their 20s and their 30s, and they worked on a handful of goals, saving for retirement, saving for college, getting the will in place, doing all those core things that families need to do so their family's protected. Well, and it takes a lot of planning and being on the same page and being willing to hear the other person. Very difficult. You say uh, that a lot of folks out there think that money is the number one problem. Is that what people identify, self-identify? So when I wrote Smart Couples Finish Rich, we used all this research that showed the number one cause of, of divorce was fighting over money. I interviewed so many of my clients who had gone through divorce, asked that question. They said yes. We just did a new survey, surveyed 1,000 people. Same thing? 44% came back, just did the survey and came back and said, number one cause of divorce, fighting over money. Then we looked at, well, those who are wealthy, what did they do? So on the survey that we did, those who had saved over $100,000, the key thing they did, they talked about retirement as a couple once a month at least. 
Holy cow. Okay, a real conversation. David Bach, good to see you. Always so nice to have you on the show. Thank I understand you. you're going you. on the road. I hope that doesn't mean we don't get to see you. You'll get to see me. I'm going to do a tour for Smart Couples Finish Rich, going to L.A., Detroit, Chicago, and Boston. You have all the fun. David, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And we'll